folks. See Leon when he's back in his uh, little enclosed environment. He's great. Come, come. Not from going mad at the old rabbit or whatever, but his dog. But yeah, for those that were there at the boondock with me, you've seen that in, when he's out in the normal world, he really uh, managed to well. Come here. Just been getting the next video edited. I'm just trying to, going to try and catch up with everything now. Had a bit of a, I did film a bit at the weekend, but not loads. And I didn't really go on my phone at all. So I got a bit behind on YouTube and Instagram and all that kind of thing. So if you've messaged or commented on uh, videos and pictures and stuff, um, I'm going to have a look. I've not even looked at the comments yet, to be honest. So I'll get all caught up with everything and uh, message you all back. But don't worry, I'm not. I'm not ignoring you. Just been having a bit of a bit of a tech-free weekend almost. Yeah, I've got a few videos lined up, ready. It annoys me when it's like this. I like to just do a video and make it the next day, so I can keep on top of it. But sometimes you can't do that, I guess. So, whatever, not the end of the world. But yeah, hope you're all doing good. All recovered from your weekend hangovers. <laughs> God, it's funny. Yeah, I'm not sure where today's going yet, but probably going to be the shortest video ever. Thought I'd turn the camera on though, see what I'm up to. So I've got to have a, a bit of a conversation with you all, otherwise you're not going to understand what's happening and I imagine once it happens I'll be too sad to even make this video for a little bit so might as well fill you in now uh, before it has. There's not really any way to sort of dress this up. Um, or make it into anything, you know. I don't want to make this into like a thing, uh, so I'll just tell you basically. Um, don't even know how to say it. Uh, I'm so I'm rehoming Leon. Um, those that came to the Boondockers weekend. Well, the people that I spoke to will know that anyway, because we talked about it. Um, but <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, after everything, it's become clear that he's not the right dog for me. He doesn't fit in very well with my life, basically. I'm sure I'll get plenty of shit for this in both directions, but at the end of the day, I've um, I've put over four months of my time and money, and stress into him, and it's not really got me anywhere. 
so you know we we did the training with him and he looked like he was showing some improvement but what we also realized is it's because we were working him all day every day pretty much and then I was coming back to this field as you can see now he's absolutely fine and he's fine because there's nothing here there's no stimulation for him there's no people there's no other dogs there's no driving there's just me and him and I'm taking him out on the long lead every couple of hours and giving him a run round with the ball so he's getting plenty of exercise and uh, you know he's happy as Larry in this field but the problem is this field isn't real life for me this is you know only a small portion and if I'm gonna have a dog living with me permanently then that dog needs to be able to do everything that I want it to do and I don't think in fact I'm you know I'm I'm sure that Leon will never get to that stage because I don't think he's got it in him he's a very very clever dog like very clever but he's he's not a pet dog uh, and he never will be a pet dog He's a, he's a working dog, he needs a job, he needs to be doing something um, to take those frustrations and things that he has and put them to something positive, you know, whether it be police or a guard dog. I've actually got someone coming on Thursday who's a trainer. Um, potentially going to have him and she will either keep him for herself or she'll be putting him in with in a guarding situation or something like that she's going to assess him when she comes and see what he can do he can do a lot I, I think he'd be a good drug dog or something like that airport security or I don't know something along those lines but Ultimately, it's took a bit of fig finding out. You know, the whole time in um, when I was in France, that was all waiting to get back here so that we can start the training. Uh, but obviously, now that I'm back and I've done it, and now it's obvious he's not a pet, and I need a pet for this I need a calm dog because at the end of the day what I what I do you know some days or 90% of the time I'll have the dog with me and we'll be off doing things and hiking and whatever but also there's the other side where I need to go to the shop or something and I can't do that with him because well, as people have seen he's completely destroyed my van because he can't be left alone and we have tried to train that and not really got anywhere now I'm in no doubt that someone could train him to a point but it could it could take years that's the thing it could take years to train him I don't think he'll ever be like perfect house dog mode I don't think he's that dog maybe when he's like 8 or 9 years old and he finally calms down as it stands right now he can't travel he can't be around other dogs I'd never trust him around kids I could never let him off the lead and he can't be left alone so I can't really do anything, don't really have a life, can't, just can't do anything really.
I actually got invited for a curry tonight and I couldn't because I can't take him and I can't leave him so it is an unfortunate situation it's one that I never expected to be in and it sucks being in it but at the end of the day I've got to think of myself as well as him he's never going to be happy in this life and I'm not going to be happy, well I'm not happy full stop you know I'm happy here in this fantasy field but that's not that's not real in the real world it's stress like it's real stress every day every task everything I do is stress because I have to figure out Leon and figure out what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it and yeah it's you've probably seen on the last couple of videos I've put in what he's like to drive with um, just because I wanted I'd, I'd like you to see the truth you know it's not like I'm making it up I mean I, there was one point uh, when we were on the way back from the boondockers meet um, I had to we, we stopped at a service station on the way back and we are in the car park and for me to actually manoeuvre my van out of the car park space I had to get Marie to come and take Leon out of the van and stand at the side with him while I did it because it's impossible to drive I can't drive you know, I, I can't especially not manoeuvring once I get going after about 10-15 minutes he calms down and they would just sort of stand there but as soon as you stop traffic lights, roundabouts, anything he loses his shit and that's the time that you need to concentrate and because I live in my van I kind of need to be able to drive so you know I don't live a normal life and he's not a normal dog so it's it's you know maybe someone in a house who lived on their own in the middle of nowhere would be able to well they, they would he'd, he'd be fine if he didn't drive much or you know but like I say he's not a pet and he doesn't he doesn't fit with me unfortunately I tried my hardest I, I gave him everything I had even every last penny you know I was stuck in France and I couldn't eat or work or do anything had no money I was just stuck there but I was committed to him and I tried I put everything I had into him so no one can say I didn't try it's not worked how I intended it to unfortunately and how a lot of people probably hoped it would have um, but you know these things happen I guess it's life isn't it Sometimes it goes one way, sometimes it goes the other. But, you know, I'll never forget him. He's definitely had a massive impact on me and my life. The, all, you know, if anything's come from this, at the end of the day, I saved his life because he would 100% be dead now if I hadn't adopted him. Because there's no way in the, the state he is there's, there's no way that any family or anyone would have taken him from that shelter so he'd be put down by now maybe dog food or something so you know even if I have just played this small part in his life at least he'll go on now I trust the avenue that he's going down it's you know it's friends with the trainer that I use um, 
and I will know where he's gone to from her, you know, whatever field that he's gone into, uh, I'll be able to find out and, you know, I'll know he's okay and doing what he should be doing, but yeah, that's, um, that's where we are. I'm going to disable comments for this video uh, just for the simple fact that it will be hard enough as it is without you know reading all the comments and I know that you know most of you will be positive and supportive about it but even them I don't I don't want to read it no offense I know you mean well, um, but I just, I'm just going to have to zone out for a few days. And not have it constantly popping up on my phone. Yeah. So, unfortunately, this is probably going to be the last time you see him. So I just want to say thank you for... Uh, all the support and everything. I'm sure if Leon could talk he would say the same too. So, yeah. <laughs>